I am about to make a short video about why I started doing YouTube. It's gonna be a very heartfelt short video, feeling slightly vulnerable. I got my script ready and never wrote a script. This is the first time. Just wanna make sure you get the message right. 12 years ago, in case you start changing. Just got out of the house trying to get some work done. There's a urgent bug fix I need to make. It came out of the blue. It's very annoying. Something to do with the YouTube APIs. It's mission critical, so I have to uh, try to get it done as soon as I can. stop working because uh, thumbnail automation stopped working. We couldn't set the thumbnails for the users. It was so weird, so bizarre because it has been working for more than a year. Trying to find out what's happening, I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it in the log as well. I went to the server, tried, tried to find out what happens and I just keep seeing the server timeout. I extended the execution duration Still, it didn't work, so I just put a bunch of console logs into the serverless function and see which part is taking the time. It turned out one of the async function didn't return at all. It just throws the error, which is really dumb of me. <laughs> a better uh, signature design would be always returning a promise. Uh, either resolve or reject. I did that, and then I can see the server responding. But still, something's failing. After some digging, I was already more than an hour into this hot fix. The real part, there were too many users. For every user, we find the tests, and then we update the thumbnails for them. This entire execution takes way too long and too many users. So the function timed out. When I figured it out, I couldn't help but laugh. A great problem to have, but it was one of those emergencies that I just ha didn't have a clue. Everything's working now? Great. While we we're at the code base, um, I thought I'd show you a little bit how I structure the project. I categorize things by types. So I have a directory for components, for context, hooks, services, things in that nature. I don't modulize things based on the feature, meaning that each feature directory you will have all types of things like components, context, hooks, styles, everything. So inside the directory, you actually have a very mixed files taking care of different concerns. I think it's a great way to structure if it's a much more mature code base or if you have cross-functional teams in a bigger organization then I think that would be something to consider but for startups, the requirements change quite rapidly it's much easier to, you know, say oh, I need a hook, let me find it from the React hook directory that's how I structure the project let me know your favorite ways for project structure totally dark outside it's not even that late this is the winter in europe sunset start very early and uh it's freezing cold <laughs>
Today is one of those days I have to put my head down and get things done. So yeah, startup life is never boring. <laughs> it's a lot of work since I got back from Singapore. I just remember one of my founder friends told me he could wake up in the morning, go to his room and start working until you know midnight or 3 a.m. in the morning and I feel like I'm in that space now I don't work that late but if I don't pay attention to my body I will skip meals forget about the chores and before I know it it's bedtime it's good to have work to do I need to find a way to better managing my work and my life if you have similar experience or you already found a way to take care of your work life balance let me know in the comment it's late i need to wrap it up get ready for tomorrow thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like share subscribe i'm having a great time reading through your comments and in get a chance to interact with you i really appreciate it keep it coming see you next time ciao